This is a quick video for a quick trip. Just wanted to head out to Mojave quickly and uh, do a quick overnight and test out a new tent. But of course, along the way, stop to take a look at all of the airplanes they have in storage out at the Mojave Spaceport. Uh, it's a great place if you're an aviation enthusiast, um, if you're a space enthusiast. Uh, it's just an amazing little location in the middle of the desert. Obviously, the jets are stored here for long-term storage because of the climate. But uh, Mojave Spaceport is home to Virgin Galactic. It's home to um, Scaled Composites, um, the National Test Pilots uh, School, um, and former companies like Rotary Rocket uh, were once promising back in the early 2000s. Um, there's also a huge amount of um, energy generation happening out here through wind turbines. And as you can see over on the right of this image, that dark patch that you see there, that is acres and acres and acres of solar panels in the desert generating electricity. So um, it's a great place to go to. It's only a couple hours from home and uh, wanted to get out and test out a new hot tent. So this is that trip. For this trip, since I'm testing out a brand new tent and trying to learn everything about how to set it up and manage it, uh, the option was to just go to Ricardo Campground in the Red Rock Canyon State Park. And uh, it's a beautiful little spot. Um, a lot of the campsites are nestled right into that back hill that you see there, that cliff that's all worn away by erosion and water over time um, so great little spot not very expensive i think it was 25 dollars for a spot for the night um, they've got all kinds of water here they've got you know facilities like um, vault toilets um, so just a nice handy spot to uh, go and, and camp and enjoy beautiful star views overnight as you'll see uh, there's very little light in the area a little bit coming off the highway as traffic comes back from um, or down the uh, the highway um, in the distance but that's really over on the horizon and it doesn't have a huge impact in your nighttime viewing from the camp spots <music>
The tent that you're gonna see through this video is a Pommely Hex Plus. It is a large hot tent. Uh, it's approximately 13 feet in diameter. Um, technically, if you wanna put everybody on the ground, you're looking at a six person tent. Um, I'm gonna have it set up for two people to have ample space, lots of room inside, um, a couple of cots. That's generally how I plan to use it in the future. Oh, and um, the, uh, the real party piece for this tent is, uh, you can see that chimney there, it, there's a wood stove inside. So um, you can pile some wood in there. Um, it is called a hot tent because you make it very hot inside. Uh, fantastic for desert nights, for winter camping, all of that kind of thing. Um, you'll see through the photos. Uh, it's a very, uh, it's a very interesting option for um, winter camping and cold weather camping. Um, one thing that I am really impressed with is the lining on this particular tent is um, a matte silver color, but it's uh, it's reflective enough that a single candle can light the entire interior of the uh, of the tent itself. So between that and the wood stove, you'll see it in the videos here. Um, all kinds of nice light in there. Um, obviously, super warm. Um, it's uh, it's just a great option. I encourage you if you're interested, look up hot tent camping on YouTube. Take a look at a bunch of the videos. Uh, it's a real rabbit hole. I fell down it and I love it.
things that I love about going out into the desert are the sunsets and the sunrises. Absolutely beautiful out there, just fantastic. Um, so overall, this trip was fantastic. The tent performed great. Um, it was fairly easy to set up. I would say maybe 20 minutes and I've got the tent set up, I've got the stove set up and I'm ready to go. So that was fantastic. Um, the tent performed really well. Uh, no condensation on the inside when I woke up. Uh, woke up around midnight or so and there was still some residual heat. Um, I stopped stoking the fire at around 9.30 p.m. So that was kind of nice to have that little bit of extra heat later in the night. Um, but just a, a fantastic little one night getaway to test out some new equipment. Um, I highly recommend the area. Uh, the campground is fantastic. Great facilities that are there. Everything is clean. The people are friendly. Super quiet out there at night as well. And as you saw, beautiful, beautiful location for astrophotography and just hanging out. Uh, we'll definitely go back and I'm looking forward to uh, more adventures with the hot tent.